In the previous video, we went over connecting the TrackMan B1 to the iPad. In this video, we're going to go over the calibration for pitching. When you first open the application, you're going to see that the radar is currently not calibrated. You can see this in the top right hand corner. You're going to want to select New Session, select Pitching, and select Next. You are going to want to select Indoor or Outdoor depending on the area that you are in, and select Next. If you have a field that is not set up to be exactly 60 feet 6 inches or a lower mount height, you will want to select Custom Pitching Distance or Height. And before inputting any values for distance into the application, you will want to measure the distance and the height of the B1. The distance is measured by placing a measuring tape on the tip of home plate and running it along the ground to the middle of the tripod. The height of the B1 is measured by going from the ground directly to the middle of the TrackMan B1. I will show this now. For a pitching calibration, the optimal setup is going to be 12 feet of distance and 12 feet of height. While setting up the TrackMan B1, you will want to make sure that there is 2 to 3 feet of space between the B1 and the net. And now that we have obtained those measurements, we're going to want to insert them into the application. Using the sidebars, we're going to add the height, distance, and the offset of the B1, and select Next. If you selected custom pitching or distance or height, you can make the adjustments on this page. If you have a standard setup, you can skip this step. On the left hand side, you can measure the distance from the rubber to the tip of home plate. This measurement has to be within a foot of accuracy. On the right hand side, you can adjust the height of the rubber. This also has to be within a foot of accuracy. However, I would suggest getting as close to exact as you can. The next page that appears will show a view from the TrackMan B1 itself. In this view, you will want to make sure that there is a clear point of view and no obstructions. You want to make sure that the netting will not interfere with the ball flight. And in the bottom left hand corner of this page, you can see the role of the TrackMan B1. You want to make sure that the bottom left hand corner there is a green check mark signifying that the B1 is level. If not, you will have to make an adjustment on the tripod itself until it is level. If you want a refresher on adjusting the role of the B1, you can watch the setup of the tripod video. Once this is level, you will move on to aiming the TrackMan B1. You will see two boxes, a higher box for the pitching rubber and a lower box for home plate. I would suggest aiming home plate first. You want to make sure that the home plate is towards the top of the lower box and is completely within the parameters. After aiming home plate, you then want to adjust the B1 so that the rubber is towards the bottom side of the upper box. You can adjust the tilt and pan using the tripod mount. If you would like a refresher on this, you can view the setup of the tripod video. Once home plate and the rubber are placed within the boxes, you can select Next. The next page will be pointing out home plate. You will want to place a crosshair in the top left hand corner of the plate. You can use the Find Target Adjust to get the crosshairs as close to home plate as possible. You can then select Next. You will then have to do the same for the right hand corner of the plate and select Next. And finally, you will have to do it for the tip of home plate and select Next. And now we're going to point out the rubber. I would always suggest placing an object on the middle of the rubber. You could use a baseball or a marker or anything of the sort. You could then use the crosshairs and place them directly on the bottom of that object to point out the rubber. You can also use the fine adjust here and select next. The pitching calibration will now say that it has completed and you can move on to creating a lineup. If you get an error when calibrating, for example unrealistic calibration rubber height, then this is an indication of the home plate and the rubber do not exactly match a standard baseball setup. To correct, either ensure your setup is exact standard or use the custom dimensions toggle explained earlier in this video. There will be a full video that you can access for setting lineups, so I'm going to go ahead and add the players so you can see the next page. Where the app once said in the top right hand corner, not calibrated, it will now have a green light that runs across signifying that the B1 is ready to track. And this concludes the pitching calibration.